Okay, so in this problem, we're told an object of unknown mass m is hung from a vertical spring of unknown spring constant k, and the object is observed to be at rest when the spring has extended by 14 centimeters. The object is then given a slight push and executes simple harmonic motion. Determine the period t of this oscillation. So in this problem, what we're going to be solving for is the period t. So we're going to be solving for t, and you need to know the formula for it is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of m over k. So m is obviously the mass uh, of our thing, right? And then k is going to be uh, the spring constant of our spring here. So what we want to do is solve for the period. So we're going to need to know k and m. So keep in mind, they don't give us m. Uh, but the way this works is when we solve this, these are going to cancel out uh, and leaving us the ability to solve it. So based on the question, there's a few things that we know. So we know that it's going to have some force due to gravity, mg, pulling it straight down. And then due to Hooke's law, there's going to be a force that acts opposite the motion of the spring, opposite the direction that it goes, which is equal to Hooke's law, right? F equals kx. Okay. And so we know that after it stretches 14 centimeters, it's going to come to rest which means that the sum of the forces acting on our object here are going to be equal to zero. So if we say zero equals, and then we sum up our two forces, uh, I'm going to say kx is positive because it goes upwards. So we add up kx, and then we minus mg because it's downwards. Uh, and then move mg to the other side. You'll get that kx is equal to mg. And so this should be pretty intuitive since if this thing stopped, these two forces have to equal each other or else it would keep moving, right? So basically, kx is equal to mg. And we need k in order to solve this, okay? And so if we divide both sides by x here, we're going to get that k is equal to mg over x. And so this is the formula, or this is what we're essentially going to be plugging in here uh, in order to solve. So you'll see that it cancels here. So 2 pi over the square root of m over mg over x. So what happens here? We have 2 pi multiplied by the square root. And so what happens is our m is going to cancel. So you have m. So it's basically copy dot flip. Maybe you remember that. Um, right? So your m's will cancel here, and you'll just have x over g. So all we did was take the top and multiply it by the bottom. Uh, the reciprocal of the bottom, right? And so you get x over g there. And so uh, we know both of these values now, so it's actually really easy to solve. So you have 2 pi or 2 pi multiplied by x. x is the displacement change, right? Uh, which is 14 centimeters. Uh, but when we do this, we need to have it in meters. So you should know 14 centimeters to convert. Uh, we have 100 centimeters every one meter. So you just divide it by 100 to get it in meters, which, which will give you 0.14 meters. So 0.14 here, uh, and then we divide by g. So g is the acceleration due to gravity. That's just a constant value, 9.8. And yeah, so keep in mind that all this was solving for t. So it's just a matter of plugging it in now. So 2 times pi multiplied by the square root of 0.14 divided by 9.8. And so, let me redo that. I actually inputted it wrong. 2 times pi uh, multiplied by the square root of 0.14 divided by 9.8. So yeah, when you do this, you're going to get a value of 0 0.707590, or sorry, 75098. So about 0.75 is your period. So t equals 0.75. Uh, and then the units for period is just time, so seconds. So your period in this case is what they wanted us to find. So determine the period T of this oscillation uh, as 0.75 seconds. So that's going to be your answer. Just a quick rundown of how we did this. We knew the formula for the period, uh, but we knew we needed M or K, and we got it to cancel out M, right, because it's an unknown value. So I knew the sum of the force is equal to 0 when it's stretched out. So KX is equal to MG because the Hooke's law force has to equal to the gravity to make it zero. So I could solve for k, uh, and then I just plugged it back in. 
the units cancel, and then it's just really a matter of plugging in the, uh, the values. Uh, but yeah, so 0.75 seconds, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.